Hey, how's it going? It's nice to see you again. For as long as I've been making music, I've been recording all of my acoustic instruments on large diaphragm condenser microphones. But as time goes on and the nature of my work evolves, so too does the need for my tools. I've been recording bigger pop and film score projects lately, which require a higher level of nuance and detail in those recordings. So like a carpenter who needs a different saw to cut a specific material, I have bought a stereo match pair of SE8 small diaphragm condenser microphones. In this video, I wanted to compare these small diaphragms to their large diaphragm counterparts. Although they're not the same in price, I will be using the Audio-Technica AT2035s in a stereo pair as a comparison. I wanted to test the different transient, frequency, and phase responses of these different microphones. I record mainly upright piano, and I haven't seen a lot of demos on the SE8s in this specific context. So I'll be using them in a spaced pair, which is the technique that I use most when recording upright piano. They'll be recorded into a Focusrite ISA 2 preamp going into an 18i20. So, without further ado, here are the results. All right, so I just finished A-B testing the microphones and their different positions, and I wanted to give a final thoughts and a wrap up to this whole experiment. Overall, I think the differences are very subtle indeed, and perhaps to an untrained ear, it might not sound like a lot, but as a mixing and mastering engineer and people that comp full bands and record huge songs with tens or hundreds of different layers, if you have a marginal quality increase of perhaps 5%, 
that 5% adds up as you build all of the different tracks and the song, which would lead to a clearer, easier to mix project, depending on how you apply the different microphones. Again, in my context, for like a film scoring perspective, these are really helpful, the SE8s, because it's very neutral and flat throughout the frequency response. And I think that's something that you don't see in the Audio-Technica. It definitely hypes up the mid-range in sort of a pleasant way, especially on this piano. But it sounds like there's not as much separation between the different frequencies. Like, it just feels in your face and not necessarily a good way. Again, it's still pleasant. I've been recording this piano like this and other pianos like it for, you know, upwards of five years. And I've loved every minute of recording with the Audio Technicas. This is just a different tool for a different application. The really fun part is where you start combining microphones and using them to support each other's uh, flaws or boost each other's strengths. For example, one of the ideas that I had was using a spaced pair on the front action where the hammers are, so I get that nice transient response, but then using condensers on like the back of the piano to pick up the warmth and accentuate those mid-range frequencies. So it's like a give and take, which tool to use, which one not to, and I hope these gave you some examples of what different mic positions sound like, at least in a spaced pair and the difference between the small diaphragm and the large diaphragm. I would find myself reaching for the small diaphragm when I'm doing film work or stuff like that. Again, it feels like it has a more even frequency response and is not as biased in the cardioid pickup pattern as the large diaphragm is. Usually with large diaphragm condenser microphones, again, the, the pickup pattern will kind of be more varied across the frequency spectrum than a small diaphragm, which is part of the reason why a small diaphragm condenser such as the SE8 is more neutral, f transparent, whatever word you want to use for that. So ultimately, it's up to you to decide how you apply these different tools. But I really love testing this. I thought it went really well. Uh, I will definitely be using all these techniques in further videos and music projects. I really like both microphones and I'm happy to have them. By the way, last caveat, I've been using the SE8 on my voice uh, this whole video. so. I wanted to give you another source to just kind of see what it sounds like, but I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to judge based on what microphone it was. I just wanted you to hear what it sounds like on voice. Uh, I have the high shelf at about 80 hertz just to roll off those really sub lows. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> okay. Take care now.